Not gonna lie, Chad, dude, I could put this into like a strategy and make a video out of it, cause literally you could win every single game. And I mean every game using this strategy. What's up everybody, Hattrick plays back with another Bullet Echo video, and guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to win more games inside of Bullet Echo. But, first I want to let you guys know that we're going for 5,000 subs by the end of the year, and if you could help us get there, that would be amazing. Now that I got that out of the way, let's get straight into it. So, the key to this strategy, guys, is basically you're going to want to play as Dragoon. If you do not have Dragoon, try to play maybe Arnie or somebody else just like that, guys. If you have Dragoon, this guide is for you. You can win it over and over and over and over again in King of the Hill, guys, with little to no effort. I'm telling you guys, this strategy works and it works so well. First thing you're gonna need guys on your Dragoon characters is for it to be at least level 10 so you have the blink ability. That is the only thing that is necessary to this strategy. Now basically what you're gonna do guys is you're gonna find some loot, you're gonna find some armor inside of the King of the Hill, you're gonna avoid fights and at the very end when there's two players left and they're starting Ooh. to fight you're gonna blink in, take them out and easy dub guys. I'm gonna show you some gameplay of me doing it that you guys can copy as well. Hospital is the best map for Dragoon because everything is close quarters and you can't really get sniped but I mean not too many people are using snipers inside the King of the Hill anyway so it should be easy for you guys. Anyways let's jump straight into the game. All right we're gonna go ahead and attempt to uh try to show you guys how to win as Dragoon and uh King the hill but hopefully I can kind of explain my thought process as long as you play smart dragoon won't really lose to anybody other than snipers and snipers generally get taken out right in the beginning of the game because they don't get any good loot spawns we got a really 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 good spawn guys we got armor as well as a lots of ammo this is actually wonderful so now that we are fully kitted up that we want, we just need to get our blink ability and we should be good. We're gonna go for a four grip if we can. Maybe if we can find one of those of laying around here, that'd be really nice. I just don't wanna get into any fights if I don't have to. Okay, we got our ability here. That's really wonderful as well as some more ammo, which is good. People are fighting uh, ahead of me, but there is only nine left. I'm gonna blink forward, wait for our ability to come back and hopefully just, just look for a four grip. If we can find a four grip or an armor enhancer, that would be amazing, either one of those. Uh, I'm not seeing anything around here guys. I only see visors and uh, scopes and silencers and pretty much every other attachment other than the one we actually need. <laughs> but uh, hey, that's what happens. When the spawn gives you good spawn, it gives you some bad stuff as well because we spawned on armor and as well as, um, as well as ability and stuff. So we're not complaining. Let's go ahead and jump on this guy. He's totally unaware. We totally took him out very, very easily. Uh, we still have 151 bullets in reserve. So we're chilling. We're chilling. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna have to go out the entrance that we shot out of which is kind of a downfall, but we have our blink ability just in case if somebody third parties us or tries to shoot us in the butt. So we should be fine. And we're gonna, now that there's only three people left, we're gonna play slow and kind of move into the yellow X uh, and figure out if anybody is in here. I don't think anybody is, but they may. All right, there's the foregrip that we're looking for. We're gonna sprint over to it real quick. And there's the armor enhancer that we need as well. Uh, now that we're pretty close range with everybody, we don't have to worry about really dying right away. I meant to grab that enhancer, but it, my character accidentally moved. It's all good, we got the armor enhancer now. The last two people are fighting in fact, so it sounds like they're both snipers. Never mind, one's a levy. We're gonna push up on levy and uh, take her out, guys. There you go. Very, very easy. Just blink on them, take them out. They're already low HP and you just basically take them out. This game mode or this map here, Hospital, is very good for Dragoon because everything is close quarters. So you can jump from corner to corner or whatever if you need to escape. You can also use his blink ability. All right, let's go for some ammo here. All right, we got some ammo right away. Let's go ahead and get this. See if we can get some shield, guys. Uh, we're gonna check back here. Okay, there doesn't seem like there's much. There is an upgrade, a green upgrader there I saw. Uh, looks like somebody snagged it. Yeah, this guy on my right snagged it. All right, so we're gonna avoid him until we can get some armor. Uh, no, there we go, we got some armor. All right, sweet. Now that we got some armor, we can kind of just chill for a little bit and look for maybe like a uh, an upgrade. The yellow X is to my right. There's a guy behind me. We don't have to worry about him until the final circle. Let's go ahead and just blink away from this guy. We don't want to have to face him. There's literally no point in us fighting him right now. So we're gonna wait for him to slowly push up. Yep, he's gonna push up. I don't know where my shots went there, but uh, okay, he spotted me. I'm gonna go ahead and back up a little bit here. We're gonna use our heal ability, might as well. Peeking with characters such as Dragoon is not very effective. Oh my goodness. Uh, we just blinked behind him chat, and we went ahead and take him out, but now we can use our shield ability because there's no need for us to, um, to fight anybody else now. And now that we're full HP, let's go ahead and grab this ammo if we can. We need to get our blink ability ASAP so we can be able to use that. Okay, I see one there, but I don't want to have to deal with him right now. I think he saw me because I moved a little bit too fast. 
but either way, we should be fine. Okay, we got our blink ability. Let's go ahead and get over here so we can get this as well. And maybe a heal ability. It'd be wonderful before the zone comes in. Nice. All right, all right. All right, we got a sniper on the other side of this wall. Let's go ahead and slowly move in. We have our blink ability. Oh, there's two alive. Let's go ahead and rush this last guy. There we go. And there we go. We got another win. So as long as you guys play your life, you should be good. Um, you shouldn't have to rush anybody off the bat. Even though he did get three heals, again, we did get the dub. And increase your streak, guys. Make sure you guys go for streaks before you go for trophies. Because if you can get a lot of streaks in a row, you'll go up a lot of tiers and you'll get better loot without having to face harder opponents. And there you have it, guys. Very, very easy. You just blink in, take them out right away, and you get the dub. If this video did help you in any way, shape, or form, make sure you guys subscribe and like the video for more just like it. Guys, I live stream pretty much all the time. Um, this next coming week, I should be gone to a camp, so I won't be able to. But guys, if just pop into my stream, hang with us, ask some questions. I'm willing to answer any of them that you guys want. And uh, honestly, it's just such a great time. You guys should definitely come by. Anyways, I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Until next time, this is Hattrick, signing off.